It's your boy. <laughs> it's your motherfucking boy. <laughs> wake your, wake your insecure asses up out there in this bitch. I had to go, man. M was M was spitting hot fire and shit. I usually don't go that long off on that motherfucker, but Eminem was spitting that, spitting that damn fucking lava. <laughs> shit, fuck all of that. Kid. So what's good, you guys, man? That's what to come in, man. Happy Sunday. I just spent the last few hours with my wife and my son, man. I took my wife and my son up to Malibu. We had some awesome, awesome lunch, man, up there, man. We had some some uh, um, lobster rolls and shit, man, up there in Malibu, man. There was a lot of people out there, you know. They had a car show, all kinds of shit, man. I took my wife out and my son out there, man. Then we went and got some ice cream, got her out the house, went to Santa Monica, got some ice cream and all that kind of shit. And then I said, well, you know what, man? Let me get on here and talk to you motherfuckers right quick to talk about why it's important to follow and watch me. This is what this is about. I know what the subject says, but there's a reason why you follow me. Because it doesn't matter if it's that day. It doesn't matter if it's that hour. It doesn't matter if it's the next day. It doesn't matter if it's the next month. It doesn't matter if it's fucking the next year. When I say some shit and it happens, I'm going to come in and I'm going to remind you motherfuckers that I said this shit. Okay? Now, today is a day that I said some shit way last year during the football season. Okay? When your favorite football player by the name of Antonio Brown, a.k.a. A.B., when all you stupid motherfuckers, and I still remember every one of you guys that was talking so much shit about how Antonio Brown was playing chess, not checkers against the Raiders, that he played the Raiders so he can he can get out of his job so he can go over to the uh, the Patriots, which was a better job and all that dumb shit. And I told you, motherfuckers, no matter how much you dislike the fucking Raiders, you can't lie on motherfuckers, man. You can't lie on people because you don't like them. But then again, that's what you do. So I said, watch what happens with the Patriots. Okay, I remember that shit because to climb on the Raiders nutsack and laugh. And I said, you motherfuckers are stupid because it's business. It's not about a fan base. It's about the NFL and how things work. Now, with that being said, Antonio Brown goes over to the New England Patriots last season. Played one game. Okay? He signed a $9 million deal for one year. He played one game. Caught a touchdown pass. Okay? In a victory against, I don't know who the fuck it was. I can't even remember. But what I do remember is the same stupid ass motherfuckers who ain't gonna fucking reveal themselves and shit, but I still got your name down in the ledger. Came back to laugh at me some more, talking about see Antonio catching touchdowns with Tom Brady and shit, and he played you guys, and I, I was like, you motherfuckers are, you guys sound like a bunch of cackling ass hens. Let it play out. Let it play out. Man, that next week, Antonio Brown, a.k.a. Antonio Clown, Decided it was a good opportunity for him, even though he had been accused, allegedly, of sexual assault by several women, even though he was allowed to play, he thought it was a good ass idea to text this same woman in a group text threatening her, allegedly, and her kids, allegedly. 
When that shit happened, a funny thing happened. Because two weeks before, my team, the Raiders, cut his ass, got rid of his ass. Okay? He never played a game for the Raiders. He never motherfucking was even on the team. Okay? He, in other words, you didn't pass probation. So when that happened, the motherfucking same team who you guys swore in your life was who, who was coming up on us, the Patriots, and the hoodie himself decided to cut this nigga the same exact way that the Raiders cut his ass. He got cut on his day off for stealing boxes like Craig on Friday. But he got he got fired from his other job for stealing boxes on his day off like Craig, okay? Now, when that shit happened, these same ridiculous ass motherfuckers who thought that they were fucking really getting a laugh all of a sudden said, oh man, Antonio Brown's a fool, man. That motherfucker's stupid, man. Shit. That, I was like, what happened? You didn't keep that same energy, man. We already knew that. The Raiders knew that shit, okay? But here's the difference between the fucking Raiders and the fucking Patriots. The Raiders never paid this nigga a fucking red penny. This motherfucker never even made nothing. We took his ass down there off of Hagenberger Road and took this nigga to the fucking Greyhound station. Matter of fact, we didn't even do that. We dropped him off at the bus stop and gave him fucking five dollars so he can get a day pass and told him you better get to the Oakland International Airport as quick as possible because we can't stop the mob from running down on you motherfuckers. And those of us from the Bay, we know what the mob is. Okay, mob six not get the fuck up out of here. Now, unfortunately for the Patriots, who you guys were straight riding their nuts. Antonio Brown actually showed up to work for a game. He actually showed up and actually played in a game. So when they cut him, they said, we're not, we're going to do what the Raiders did. The Raiders didn't pay you and we're not paying you either. Now, when that shit happened, these same stupid ass motherfuckers who I still got you guys' name right down on the ledger. Don't ever get it fucked up. We're saying, oh man, shit, Bill Belichick ain't gonna go for that shit. He ain't gonna pay that motherfucker. He ain't gonna do this. I said, oh yeah, he is. Not only is Bill Belichick gonna pay Antonio Brown, motherfucking Robert Kraft's gonna pay his ass too. All right? Now, after Antonio Brown lost his second job, he also thought it was a good idea to go on Twitter and Talk about Robert Kraft's pending sex case. Pending sex case that is on the books. And then when that happened, you same stupid ass motherfuckers out there were saying, oh man, shit, Antonio done lost it now. And I said, you know what, man? Where I come from and for a lot of us where we come from, when you're talking about any man's open case, that is in that's in court that's in the that's in the police system that's in the legal system we call that snitching don't matter if it was robert Kraft. don't matter that he's a rich billionaire white man that you probably don't don't have no sympathy for anytime any man is talking publicly about another person's case that is snitching so Let's 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 recap. Antonio Brown got fired from the Raiders, never got a fuck a penny. Then he had the audacity talking about saying he's gonna sue the Raiders to get some money. Nah. Then he gets cut on his day off again for the fucking Patriots. And then you guys swear in your life that the hoodie, the Patriots Way organization, and motherfucking Robert Kraft is smarter than everybody else. And they're not going to pay this man, even though he showed up to the game, he showed up to work, he showed up to the game, he played in the uniform, he caught a touchdown pass, he did some stupid shit and got cut. 
And then the nigga went out there and said something about the, the CEO of the company. You guys swore in your life he wasn't going to get no EDD. He wasn't going to get no unemployment check. Funny thing happened today. <laughs> Funny motherfucking thing happened today when I told you Antonio was going to get his money. The New England Patriots, the team who you swore on your life is so smarter than everybody else, had to cut Antonio Brown a $5 million bag today. Five M's, okay? Today, right? Even though Antonio was owed nine, think about that. They were on the hook to pay this nigga $9 million for one week of work. Actually, he was on the roster for two weeks. He didn't play until the next week. So he really is owed $9 million, But they decided that, hey, man, Antonio, man, why don't you come back to the table, dog? And let's figure this out because we don't want to pay you $9 million, And you don't really got the paper to make, to make this go on and on and on and on with lawyers and shit. So let's sit down here and let's come to what is known as a settlement. So the New England Patriots, who you guys swore on your life, was smarter than the Raiders, cut him a $5 million bag today. And meanwhile, the Raiders, who are in Vegas now, ain't paid this motherfucker. We ain't even gave him a motherfucking now or later to a dollar on this motherfucker, period, point blank. So I want to say that I told you AB was gonna get his money. And even though I think he's a fucking cloud and shit, I say the same shit. The best wide receiver in football is Antonio Brown, but he's not a football, okay? That's number one. And number two, he's a black man, and I love seeing black folks get paid. So salute to Antonio Brown for getting that motherfucking bag. And salute to Antonio Brown for making me right again. And salute to Antonio Brown to make sure that he knows he ain't getting no money from us, a.k.a. the Raiders. So that's the first thing. The second thing. Not only that. The, the Patriots again. This is just showing how the organization does shit. They just recently got fined a uh, million one, a million point one dollars for that whole film in the sideline shit. That was a couple of days ago. And then they signed, I mean, a, a week or two ago. And then they signed Cam Newton. Remember that shit? Well, today. They also got a two point two million dollar uh, uh, refund, if you want to call it that, on the contract for Aaron Hernandez. Now, I know you're saying Aaron Hernandez. I know you're not talking about Aaron Hernandez, the uh, the, the, the tight end that committed suicide and in prison and all of that type of shit and had the CTE and, and, and all. Yeah. The Patriots have been trying to get that money back on the books. They had a, Aaron Hernandez had a $40 million contract before he got convicted for murder. Okay. And then he went to jail and then he got acquitted. For uh, a two, another two murders, he got acquitted. He got he got convicted in 2015. 2017, he he got uh, 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 acquitted of two more murders, and they were trying to recoup their money back. Now you can't get the money back from from Aaron Hernandez because he's not here. But what you can do is you can try to lobby the uh, uh, Roger Goodell and say, "Hey man, we need to get some money back on our cap because." You know, this ex extemporaneous circumstances and all that stupid shit. Today, the NFL said, okay, we're going to give you a $2.2 million reprieve, which is basically uh, you getting your tax return on Aaron Hernandez. So, man, the Patriots have been trying to get their money back from Aaron Hernandez, and the Patriots saved $4 million off of paying Antonio Brown for a week, but hey man, five million dollars for a week of work? Sign my motherfucking ass up. Sign your motherfucking ass up. That's good. But Antonio Brown wasn't gonna get nine million. He was old nine, but since he said that stupid shit, 
He lost four million dollars. So what is this? What does this teach you guys out there? Man, you still got to watch what the fuck you say or half your money going to be gone, man. He lost four million because he couldn't stop fucking Twitter fingering and shit. He was really old nine. He took five. It's cool. But damn, you got to live with the fact that you shit it off four million. And then the Aaron Hernandez situation, yes, they were still trying to recoup their money off of Aaron Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez has not played for the Patriots in five seasons, and they still were running around trying to get that shit solved. So I want to come in and say that, okay? I want to make this shit clear to you. Pandemic or no fucking pandemic, okay? Business is being conducted. People are getting bags during the pandemic. That's what I've been saying. People are getting paid during this whole SIP situation. Okay? And you be a fucking fool not to follow suit. You be a damn fool not to follow suit, man. So I want to come in and say that, man. I'm going to see what you guys are talking about. Eric Hayden, what's up? It's your boy. You know what it is? Tony Dale, what's good? Tony Dale said, I like the song. Yeah, man. That motherfucker was spitting, man. And J.J. Lee up there in Toronto. What's going on, Ed? How you doing? Kathy Campbell, Fullerford in the house. What's going on? Eric Miller, Rudy Cadet up in this motherfucker. And J.J. Lee said, A.B. left the L party for now. A.B. did leave the L party. A.B. Well, a. got $5 million for a week of work, man. But he was really old nine, and the Patriots would have paid him. The Patriots would have gave A.B. that other four M's. But once again, man, you got to be a damn fool to blow $4 million over a fucking tweet. That's, that, 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 that's stupid, man. A $4 million tweet, man. That was crazy, man. Okay. Tony Dell says he'll find his way back. I hope Antonio Brown does come back. Because I like, I like him as a football player. But everything else, ain't my motherfucking problem, man. I know he's not getting paid from, 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 from my fucking squad. I know that shit. Okay? Autumn Wynn ain't paying his ass. Guy Dickinson out there in Hawaii was popping. Tyrone Means in a motherfucking house. And said, uh-oh, transmission problems in Canada again. Hey, man, I don't know what it is, man. Maybe, maybe my popularity in Canada is just getting bigger and bigger. Every time you on here with me, something's going on. Zachary Reynolds in the house. Frank said cheap. Yeah, man. Sometimes, man, that unemployment check, man, so those of us who understand that shit, you know your unemployment check ain't the same as your motherfucking check, check. You might have been making 1200 a week and your unemployment's paying you seven, seven, uh, 750 a week. Okay? That's how they get you to go back to work. But shit, $5 million for the week, a week of work is good money, but it ain't better than nine. He should have got nine, but he couldn't keep his motherfucking fingers off the Twitter, off the Twitter fingers. Okay. Felicia West out there in Baltimore. Nard X was going on Nard up there. Byron Gibson up in Oakland. Okay. Byron's rolling. Tony Dell said people decline saying something about AB. Hey man, I ain't, all I'm saying is black man got his, got paid, but the black man should have got about another 4 million. But that's what happens, man. That's what happens when you don't understand the dynamics of shit. That's what happens when you think. That the rules don't apply to your motherfucking ass. You better make sure the rules don't apply to your ass. Matt Cortez in the house. Brent in the house. What's going on, Brent? Brent said, good evening from Carlisle, England. Feel so far for the Patriots have to pay this clown. Seems like so much going on with the Patriots at the moment. Can't wait to see it all play out. Hey, man. Only thing that, only thing that I'm saying right now, Brent. The Raiders, us, Raider Nation, you and me and all of them, we ain't got to worry about what the Patriots are doing because we only play the Patriots in preseason. But guess what? I don't think there's going to be a preseason. Okay. I hope Cam Newton likes everybody asses on fire. And I hope the Patriots lose every motherfucking game. But I hope Cam Newton balls out of control. All right. But that's how it is with the Patriots, man. It's always some shit. But at the end of the day, that's what happens when you guys are dick riding. When y'all dick riding on, on certain teams and players and coaches and organizations, and then when they take a fucking fat shit in the middle of the freeway, you try to act like you didn't see it. But it's all over your tires. It's all over the side of your fucking car and shit and all of that. So that's how it goes, man. Don't worry about it, Brand. We ain't tripping. Matt Hughes. Tony Dell says, I thought I wouldn't hear about Aaron's name since his death. Hey, man. Aaron Hernandez has been dead. Aaron Hernandez 
Rest in peace. Aaron Hernandez has been not played for the Patriots in five years, but that don't got nothing to do with business. Adrian, uh, Aaron Hernandez was a was a convicted murderer. Okay, but the Patriots still wanted that two million dollars, man. <laughs> what's that got to What's that got to do with some money? Okay. That's the key. What does that got to do with some money? I want my 2.2. And it took them all this time and they finally got it, man. Okay. Matthew says it's fucking bullshit. Only the cheaters. We already know this, man. We already know that. We already know what they do. That's all they constantly do is try to get a, a, a competitive, a non-competitive advantage. Because anytime you cheating, that's not competitive. The only way it's competitive is if both teams get to cheat. Okay. You cheat and I get to cheat. Now it's competitive because we're both cheating. But if one side's cheating, it's not competitive, man. Okay. Uh, Tony Dale says, I need a crowd to happen for my bag. Real talk. Magna Paco in the house. Paul Moss in this motherfucker. What's up, Pete? Tony Dale says, you know why? Quentin Posey, what's up? Zach Davis says, what's up? Okay. Wow. Randy Curtis says, I don't let nothing get between me and my bag, period. And, and that's the key. Do I think that there's something wrong with the Patriots trying to get $2.2 million back on their books off a dead man? No. Nothing wrong with it because it's what's allowed. It, 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 it's like, man, you guys got to start understanding there's a reason why there's rich people. Okay? There's a reason why there's rich people. All right? Rich people do one of two things, if not both things. One, they take advantage of every law, tax law, rule, and everything they can. Because there's a lot of them that do everything by the book, but they 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 will they will squeeze a, a, a tax law's ass. And the other one is cheat. Okay, some of them do both. Some of them do one or the other. But at the end of the day, you can do the same shit. You're not even doing one of the things that they're doing. You're not cheating because you're not in position to cheat. And you're not bid you're not squeezing everything you drop you can out of your tax. Okay? You, you, you don't have a corporation. You don't have an LLC. You don't have a business license. You don't have business write-offs. You go to work. You get a check. They take their money out the, off the top. And then you wait for you to get a tax refund, not really understanding that the tax refund is really your own motherfucking money. That's all it is. Yeah, they ain't giving you no money. It's it's your money they've been holding all year. That's all it is. Okay. So you better be about your bag because these powers that be that are billionaires, they're they're not saying, oh, it's only two million. Oh, it's only two million dollars. The Patriots paid Antonio Brown five million dollars today. But they saved $6.2 million today because they didn't pay him the other four and they came up on $2.2. That, that is a positive $1.2 million. You guys ain't thinking, man. Okay. Matthew says, hell, people in Ohio was making more of unemployment and working during COVID. Correct. It all depends. It all depends on where you are. People in California ain't doing that. But like, hold on a second. Man, this whole thing just fell down. Hold on. Shit. All right. It's so hot, man. I got my little thing that I hold my phone up with. This thing just this thing just dropped. It all depends. It all depends on what state you're in, man. You need to be bending every corner you can to get a bag. Okay. Uh, Paul Moss, DC in the building. You know what it is. Okay. Uh, Omar Cornelius says that's just cra uh, crazy. It is crazy. TC Ketchum says, what's going on, bro? What's popping? Okay. Kenny Smith up in this motherfucker. Paul Moss said, hey, hey, Tony Dell says, hope to see you in California next year. I'll be here. XT, Taya Simone up in this motherfucker. Uh, Paul Moss said, AB all together has given up $39 million all because of bullshit and fuckery. Like I said before, man, when it came to the Raiders, man, and to all, this is how, this is how, how much he was not in control. I hope the brother's in control now. But let me tell you how he fucked off, like my boy Paul Moss said. All Antonio Brown had to do, you guys, with the Raiders, 
It was Thursday. Now you understand. Thursday is two days ago. Okay. It was Thursday when when all he had to do was get uh, get to Monday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. If he just could have kept his mouth shut, not tweet nothing, not text nothing, not motherfucking go on IG, not go on uh, Facebook Live or anything, his contract with the Raiders would have been guaranteed. He would have got 30 Four, five million from the Raiders. Guaranteed whether we cut him or not. He couldn't even wait till fucking Friday. Okay? One day into his three-day waiting period, somebody tells you, we're going to give you 35 million for you just not to do shit. You can find something to do. You have been in sitting in place for four months. Four or five months. You couldn't wait and just sit on your ass and watch some Netflix fucking videos or watch some or, or, or binge watch some shit for three days and then get a check for 35 million. A.B. A.B. couldn't do it. Come Friday, he ran his mouth. He did all kinds of crazy shit with the fucking helmet and all that type of shit. And that Friday he got cut. So that's why I always say he got he got uh, fired for stealing boxes on his day off on Friday like Craig. That's all you had to do is wait till Monday. So so he blew that. Then when he got picked up by the damn uh, Patriots, he had an opportunity. He had a $9 million bag. Okay? We just told you that he lost $4 million off of that because he couldn't keep Robert Kraft's sex case out of his fucking fingers. So that right there is 35 million gone. Minus four more million is 39 million. And that's what Paul Moss is talking about. But you guys swear in your life, this guy's a genius. Okay. Matt Hughes says, I think the Raiders should know their draft picks, uh, should get their draft picks back for AB. You know, it was the cheaters that they would all get compensatory picks like they always do. I agree with that, Matt. But here's the thing about the Raiders, man. Mark Davis has burnt up a lot of favors right now, man. To get into Vegas, man, we had to do a lot of concessions, man, already, man. Is it really worth it? We're winning right now, man. We got we got the best stadium in the league right now, man. I mean, that motherfucker, the damn Death Star, that shit is, is ridiculous, okay? We're in Vegas. We're in a different market. We got the whole state of Nevada's money being pumped into our team and shit. Our training facility is fucking 75 million. Our shit is plush. Do we really want to go and kind of shake the tree a little bit over some over a third round draft pick? Uh, I think we just need to just chill, land the cut, be happy that we fucking winning right now and not say nothing and let and just hold that trump card, hold that joker back when we really need the motherfucker. Okay. And I think that's it you guys. Okay. Armando Peplis in this bitch. I think that's it. I know it's Sunday. Well, I thought today was Saturday. Today's Sunday. Uh, I know it's Sunday. I just want to come in, holler at y'all, man, and tell you guys, I told you guys back during football season, I told you motherfuckers Antonio Brown's going to get paid, but it wasn't going to be from the Raiders. I was right. But then again, I'm right all the time. And I'm never going to be tired of being right. Just keep watching. All right, man. Love all y'all out there, man. Y'all know what to do. Stay COVID free and stay sucker free. Salute.